When driving the scenic Highway 20 in Washington and visiting the North Cascades National Park Complex, staying in Winthrop, a charming Old West themed town, makes for the perfect base camp. It's approximately three and a half hours from Seattle as well as Spokane, Washington. Winthrop offers cozy accommodations with options ranging from rustic lodges to modern inns, hostels, and campgrounds with easy access to the park's attractions. After a day of exploring, unwind in Winthrop's historic downtown, where you can stroll the wooden boardwalks and explore unique shops and galleries. For a true mountain experience, we recommend camping at Pine Near RV Park, where you'll be surrounded by natural beauty and warm hospitality. And when it's time to refuel, you're in for a treat. Enjoy delicious, locally sourced meals at spots like the Highway 20 Pizza in Winthrop, where the flavors of the Pacific Northwest come alive. Just a short drive away, Twisp offers its own culinary delights, from farm to table fare to the best cinnamon roll and coffee in town. Twisp is a food lover's haven in the heart of the Meathow Valley. Whether you're here to conquer the trails, immerse, immerse yourself in nature, or simply savor the peace and tranquility of the North Cascades, Winthrop and Twisp provide the perfect balance of adventure and relaxation. Ready to explore the wild beauty of the North Cascades? Hit that subscribe button and join us on this unforgettable journey. Okay, I'm in Winthrop, Washington. And if you're cruising around Washington Highway 20, you're on the eastern end, get to Winthrop, which is a nice um, old western type town, and you need something for your sweet tooth, come to Sherry's. They have ice cream, all kinds of homemade candy, basically any sort of sweet thing you would want, this is the place to come. Now, I've been coming here with my family. The first time we came here was probably, I don't know, 15 years ago, well, probably longer than that, I guess. And my daughter, I have a picture of my daughter sitting right here next to this old uh, prospector, wooden carved man. He, Looks like he's kind of worse for wear and tear. But anyway, I have a picture of my daughter that's probably around 15 years old of her sitting here eating an ice cream with this old prospector man. So now here I am and back in Winthrop. And uh, it's a great day in Washington on Highway 20. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy ice cream, which is Close enough, I guess. So the town of Winthrop was, um, was officially founded in, in the late 1800s by um, some gold miners. Gold was discovered in his area in the river. The, um, the Meathow River is the river that, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, is the river that flows through here. And you know, the first Europeans um, to come here were, were in the 1800s. Of course, Native Americans had lived here for thousands of years before that, you know, living off the land and um, gathering berries and uh, and hunting and and things like that for their survival, and then 1800s um, European settlers came here, and uh, gold was discovered in the streams around here, and of course, when gold's discovered, it was valuable, and then of course people came here. So Winthrop is an old gold mining town. Um, I don't know when they stopped mining gold. But now it's just like a, uh, it's a nice, like old Western style town, a nice little tourist town. And it's almost pretty much at the end of, um, of the scenic Highway 20 that goes through the North Cascades. When you're driving through Washington in the North Cascades, you get over to the Eastern side, stop by Winthrop, and it's definitely worth a stop. 
Um, we've been camping here for a few nights. You're just a few miles from, or not a few miles, you're about 30 miles from the North Cascades um, National Park. So you can go in there and do some day trips, do some hiking, and then just have a, a really nice time. So welcome to Winthrop, Washington. Okay, I'm talking in the car because it is incredibly windy outside and there would just be too much noise to clearly hear what I'm trying to say. But we are in Winthrop, Washington, which is on the eastern end of the uh, stunningly beautiful Washington Highway 20, which runs through North Cascades National Park. And we just stopped at uh, this pizza place called East 20 Pizza. And it is phenomenal. Really good pizza, thin crust, Perfectly cooked, uh, great selection of toppings. We had the sausage pizza, really good. Breadsticks were good. They have a great selection of beer on tap and bottled beer as well. I had a, um, a beer called the um, uh, the Dirty Face Amber Ale, and it was really good. Um, so yeah, so service is phenomenal. Super friendly. Service was great. So just a, a really nice place. The the uh, ambiance on the inside was was really nice. It took me back to uh, a lot of sports posters and stuff like that from the Washington area. So just a really nice place. So if you're in Winthrop, if you're driving uh, across Washington 20, uh, stop in here at East 20 Pizza and uh, get yourself a nice pizza and maybe a cold beer. Good morning from Winthrop, Washington and the Pine Near I think it's supposed to sound like Pioneer, but two words, Pioneer RV Park and Campground here in Winthrop. And this is where we stayed last night. We we put our tent up and uh, stayed in our tent here uh, in this RV park. And normally, as a tenter, tent camper, um, I, I normally try to avoid RV parks because oftentimes it's just gravel, um, you know, and it's just not very nice. But here they've got a nice grassy field and it was uh, very nice to put our tent down. And this, uh, the facilities here are really phenomenal. Um, they've got showers, they've got a, like a little outdoor kitchen that you can use with um, stoves, oven, sink, um, kettle to make hot water with. So basically everything you need. So it's, it's quite nice. And it's just really, really nicely decorated. They got a lot of nice stuff around here. And I'll take you around and we'll show you some video. But one word of warning, there is a, um, a gang of, of rogue deer that seem to think they own this place. They come around here and they were here this morning terrorizing the petunias and the sunflowers. And they just, they aren't really scared of much and I, i'm looking at some right now but uh this morning i was uh i was about um i don't know 10 feet from one that was just terrorizing some flowers and it didn't really pay me any attention at all um so they have like i said they have rv spots they have tent spots and if you don't have your own if you don't have a tent or an rv they they rent teepees you can stay at so really nice place we paid thirty dollars a night for our uh, our place to uh, put our tent uh, showers are uh, one dollar for two minutes of hot water and yes yeah, so the kitchen facilities are free but uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a very nice place so if you are looking for a place to stay um, and uh, along beautiful Washington Highway 20 and the near the North Cascades National Park. Um, yeah, check out Pioneer RV Park and uh, I think um, I think you will not be disappointed. Okay, so we're in Twisp, Washington, which is east of Winthrop. And we're at La Fonda's Mexican restaurant, and I'm having tacos al pastor and uh, 
with um, roasted pork, but also with roasted pineapples on them, which I thought was kind of strange, but it's actually quite tasty, and uh, the pineapple gives it a little sweet, and it's really quite nice. And Betty has the um, chili relleno, which I believe is also very good. And they have a good uh, selection of drinks as well. Again, so driving the Washington 20 highway, if you get to the eastern end, Head over to Twist, go to La Fonda, and get you some good Mexican food. All right, so Twisp is a town. It's about eight miles down the road from um, Winthrop. And sometimes, like Winthrop is a really nice, you know, old Western style town, really kind of a tourist town. And sometimes if you're looking on um, reviews for places to eat or things like that, a lot of the reviews for the places in Winthrop aren't that great. Twisp, on the other hand, uh, has a lot of um, nice places that have some really good uh, reviews. And so, for example, we went to, uh, right across the street, there's a place called El Valley, I believe it's called. And we went there yesterday. Now, they serve, um, it's, a, it's a Mexican restaurant that serves breakfast and lunch. And we were there yesterday and it was really good. And there's some other places that also have very good reviews here in, uh, in Twisp. So if you're visiting um, North Cascades National Park, uh, Washington, scenic Washington Highway 20, and you get to the eastern side, and if Winthrop is full, because a lot of people are there for a Labor Day weekend, come on down to Twisp. And it's also a very nice little town and with a lot of fine eateries here. So yeah, you can definitely have your pick of good stuff to eat here in Twisp. morning of hiking in the North Cascades National Park. We came down to the town of Twisp, which is just about eight miles further east from Winthrop. And we stopped in this bakery called Cinnamon Twisp. And we got a Cinnamon Twisp, which is, looks like kind of like a, a cinnamon roll, but um, yeah, it's flatter, it smells great. We also have a big um, fudge brownie. And if you bring in your own cup to get coffee refills, it's only a dollar. And the coffee's really good too, it's fantastic. I just had a drink of it, it's really good. Um, so yeah, cinnamon twist, come get you a cinnamon twist. So right across the street from Cinnamon Twisp here in Twisp, Washington, we got the 1908 Barbecue and Bourbon. So we came over to get some barbecue. Again, another place that has very high reviews. And look at this pulled pork platter I have. That looks, I mean, it smells great, it looks great. Um, potato salad, coleslaw, pulled pork, uh, toast, pickles, phenomenal. And we've also got a brisket platter Again, that looks really good. They have three types of barbecue sauce. They have classic, liquid gold, and something called Calib Calibring Cold Brew. I have no idea what that is. I guess we'll try it and see, but first I want to try this pulled pork and I have some of the, the classic barbecue sauce here. Mm, that's, that's phenomenal. Um, good smoky flavor, nice and juicy. Um, really good. Let me try this potato salad here. Really good potato salad. The barbecue sauce, the classic was really good as well. So, so far I'm really liking this. Oh! And we've got some liquid gold barbecue sauce. So the brisket is really good. Not quite up to Texas standards, honestly. But it is up here in the Pacific Northwest. It is really good probably about as good as you're gonna get but I would eat it any day of the week I'll tell you that right now it's, it's really good I really like that liquid gold barbecue sauce too though I'm not sure what it is but quite tasty so up here in Washington on wa scenic Washington 20 North Cascades National Park come on over to Twisp and get yourself a delicious barbecue meal and I tell you what you will not be disappointed So I'm at the um, in the Schaefer Museum here in Winthrop, and so this is the homestead of one of the original um, settlers 
to this town that formed the town. There were, there were like three guys who formed the town and one of them, this was his homestead. And now it's a, it's a really cool museum and it's just an open air museum. You can walk in and it's totally free. They have a donation box at the front. So they're asking for donations, but to come in, it doesn't cost anything. And it's really worth your time to, to come in here and take a look. Um, some really cool um, old farming equipment and some really cool stuff from uh, the old Wild West days uh, you can find here. So it's very interesting. I think it's very cool, especially if you like the old Wild West and things like that. Uh, a lot of old farming equipment, a lot of old cars. They got an old uh, 1914 Model T. So it's very interesting and, and uh, definitely worth your time to come visit the uh, Schaefer Museum. All right, so welcome to the Evergreen State. Now, you know, you might be thinking, what, that doesn't look very green, but did you know Eastern Washington is blocked from a lot of rain because of the Cascade Mountains, they serve as a dividing line. So they basically keep the western third of Washington very green and lush, and then all that moisture coming in from the Pacific Ocean can't get over the mountains. So eastern, the eastern two thirds of Washington is kind of dry and arid like this right here. And so the mountains form a dividing line, not only for the weather, but also um, uh, for industrial purposes. So the western side of Washington is, uh, is uh, a lot of tech industries, Starbucks, Microsoft, Boeing, and then eastern Washington is pretty much all agricultural. Apples, potatoes, wheat, things like that, cherries, all grow in eastern Washington. And also ideologically and politically, the western third of Washington is very liberal and the eastern third of Washington is very conservative. So there you have it, the eastern side of the Evergreen State. Thanks for joining us on this wonderful adventure through the North Cascades National Park, scenic route, Washington Highway 20, the villages of, uh, or the towns of Twisp and Winthrop. If you like this adventure, check out our video from Yellowstone National Park, and we'll put that link up here for you. And then be sure to subscribe, and uh, so you don't miss out any of our, don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Leave us a comment, let us know what you thought about this trip, and tell us where you think we should go in the future. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.